To get around in the canopy, most animals jump, fly, or glide. Orangutans sometimes stay up here in the canopy for almost a month. Good thing they're not afraid of heights. <laughs> Pepper, P E P P E R. Pepper comes from the small round berries of a climbing jungle vine. The berries are picked while they're still green and unripe. The green berries have a tangy pepper taste. Spread out to dry, they turn black and shriveled, giving them a strong pepper taste. Other times, the ripe red berries are picked, soaked for several days, and peeled. When they are dried, they turn white and have a mild pepper taste. Most people use black and white pepper berries ground together to season their food. Orangutan. O R A N G U T A N. Orangutans are apes with long reddish orange fur and puffy faces. Their arms are so long, the fingers hang down almost to the orangutan's ankles. The orangutan's long grasping toes are perfect for holding fruit as it swings through the trees with its long arms. If the next tree is too far away to swing to, an orangutan tries to push another nearby tree over and ride the falling tree to the next tree. They prefer to live alone, spending most of the time high up in the jungle canopy. In fact, the orangutan is the largest animal that lives in trees. Bird nest. B I R D N E S T. Nests are the houses that birds build for their babies. Most birds make their nest on tree branches. Other birds, like the parrot and hornbill, put their nest in a tree hole. And some birds, like the shoebill and bowerbird, make their nests on the ground. Nests are made of grasses, twigs, leaves, and mud. Most birds also put feathers, sawdust, or fine grass on the bottom of the nest as a soft pillow for their fragile eggs. Parrot. P A R R O T. Parrots are friendly birds that fly through the canopy in big, noisy flocks. They make many different sounds and even repeat the songs of other birds. Most parrots are green or gray, but others are more colorful, like the macaws. Parrots can hang like acrobats to get fruit, which they hold in one foot to eat. They also eat seeds and nuts, which are easily opened with their nutcracker-like beaks. When it is time to raise babies, hollow trees are their favorite places to build a nest. Macaw. M. A. C. A. W. This bird is one of the most colorful parrots around. Their loud screeching noises, slow flapping wings, and long tails also make them easy to spot. Macaws spend their days looking for seeds, nuts, and fruits. Macaw nests are built in holes in trees, usually in the understory or canopy part of the jungle. Macaws are popular pets because they are friendly and can be trained to repeat words. Stick insect. S T I C K I N S E C T. Like the orchid mantis. The stick insect's appearance can fool enemies into thinking the stick insect is merely part of a plant. If that fails and it is attacked, the stick insect has three ways to escape. It can either squirt the attacker with poison, jab their enemy with the spikes on its legs, or just fall off the branch. Stick insects can grow up to 12 inches long, which is pretty big for a bug that only eats plants. That tailor bird has sown a nice nest of leaves for her baby. Bamboo. B A M B O O. Bamboo is a giant grass that can grow to be 100 feet tall. 
Not only can it get as tall as a tree, but it grows very fast. Some kinds can grow one foot in a day. When a jungle has been clear-cut, bamboo is one of the few things that can thrive. Bamboo is hollow inside, where sometimes bugs, snakes, and frogs live. The outside of the bamboo can become quite hard, so bamboo is often used instead of wood to build things. People use bamboo to make pipes, cups, baskets, chairs, houses, and even rafts. <coughs> Taylor Bird, T-A-I-L-O-R-B-I-R-D. So, as their name suggests, these small birds are tailors that love to sew. They make their nest by poking holes in two leaves and then sewing the leaves together with pieces of bark, vines, or even spider webs as thread. The stitched leaf pocket is then lined with soft grass and animal hair to make a soft inner nest. By putting the nest inside the leaves and by building the nest where the jungle plants are thickest, enemies have a hard time finding it. With the nest hidden, the parents can fly off to look for bugs to eat. Gibbon. G-I-B-B-O-N. This type of ape has such long arms, its knuckles can almost touch the ground even when the gibbon stands straight up. Long arms make it easy for the gibbon to swing from tree branch to tree branch. If a nearby tree is too far away to swing to, the gibbon can leap almost 20 feet to reach it. They also have a great sense of balance and can run along branches like tightrope walkers. Gibbons spend most of their days high in the canopy, looking for fruit to eat. Their cries, perhaps telling the world that this is their tree, are almost as loud as the howler monkeys yelling. Orchid mantis. O-R-C-H-I-D-M-A-N-T-I-S. The orchid mantis looks so much like an orchid flower that enemies do not always see it. The mantis will even rock back and forth, acting like an orchid flower gently blowing in the breeze. When small bugs that don't see the mantis come too close, the mantis quickly grabs them with its thorny arms and gobbles them down. When enemies do manage to spot it, the mantis will try to fly away. If an enemy grabs a leg, the orchid mantis will even break off its leg to try to escape. Orchid. O-R-C-H-I-D. Orchids are plants with very small pretty flowers and a sweet smell. There are many different kinds of orchids, but most are epiphytes living high in the jungle canopy. Some orchids look like bugs to fool real bugs into thinking that they have found a mate. The bugs then get covered with the orchid's dust when they walk in the orchid, which helps the plant grow. Some bugs, like the orchid mantis, instead look like the orchid, so they can't be seen. Orchids are used for food, drinks, and medicine. But most people just like to look at orchids. <laughs> Flying fox. F L Y I N. G F O X Flying foxes are endangered animals. Animals are endangered when there are very few of them left in the world. Many jungle animals are endangered because their homes are destroyed as jungle trees are cut down. If these animals and their homes are not protected, they can become extinct. That means there are none left. This isn't really a fox, but a large bat that kind of looks like a fox. Flying foxes are probably the biggest bats in the world. Their bodies can be as tall as a book, and their wings from left wing tip to right wing tip can be as long as a broom. They use their hook-like claws to hang upside down in the canopy trees. Flying foxes may look scary, but they're quite harmless and only eat fruit. During the day, they cover themselves with their wings, 
and sleep upside down. The bats feed at night, leaving their babies hanging together in nursery trees where they practice flapping their wings. Wings! Hey!